Hey everyone, welcome back to the HVAC show. Has your furnace ever stopped working because of your draft inducer motor? Well today, we're gonna to show you what that is. All right guys, the draft inducer motor is located in the top portion of your furnace box. Um, it's, this is a carrier series furnace, so that you're, it has a little plastic um, wheel on it here that indicates what this does. Uh, if it ever does break down, be careful not to touch this because sometimes it can get quite hot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you an illustration of what this does and why you need it in order for your furnace to work. So this is where your inducer motor is located at. Uh, what it end up do does is it, uh, it sucks air through your heat exchanger. So you'll see two PVC vents outside your house. These are your two PVC vents. One is intake, one is exhaust. So when that inducer motor turns on, it'll start sucking air through the PVC into the furnace and then through your heat exchanger. Once it starts going, the flame will kick on. You'll see your flame sucking in. This is sucking the flame in and the flame will come in through here. So all of your heat is traveling through your heat exchanger. Once the heat gets warm enough, your fan blower will turn on and blow air across the heat exchanger where your heat transfer takes place and the warm air will go up into your house. So this is an inducer motor and housing uh, taken out of a furnace. What you got is your a hole here. This is what's sucking the air from the heat exchanger. And then this is exhausting outside the PVC to outside your house. So this is what an inducer motor is and its functions. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and thanks for joining us on the HVAC Show.